guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're all good so i thought i'd do something a little bit different today for this video i recently purchased a bunch of stationery and stickers from small businesses but specifically youtuber and influencer artists so i only recently started following one of these artists on instagram but the rest i've been following and watching their videos for a very long time so this is just going to be a really chill fun video so you guys can see all the cute things i've gotten over the last couple of months and i've been saving some of the stationery for this video for a while so i'm glad i've done this now so i can finally use them for my spreads and that so starting with piper's art if you don't know about her art then i don't know where you guys have been but um she's here on youtube and instagram as well i mostly got die cut stickers two sticker packs and then there's a sticker sheet I really like how the holographic effect makes these stickers look um, and I think the nostalgia pack which is this one right here is probably my favourite and they just have such beautiful patterns and I love the floral backgrounds as well. The Tamagotchi one is so cute. <laughs> um, I got another one which has like a bunch of girl stickers in. There's meant to be one more but I already used it in my journal, <laughs> you'll see it in a sec. Um, I literally couldn't resist using it so. <laughs> um, and then I got like the self care sticker sheet too. And all of these artist videos are so chill and I honestly watch most of these artist videos over when I want to have something calm in the background. I know you lot do that too. I know you do. <laughs> Moving on to these stickers from Mochi Bujo. I watch her on YouTube and they're from her shop called Ikigai Papier. I just hope I have, I'm saying these names correctly. <laughs> um, there's a little free sticker right here and I just love how she draws her little characters. She's got so many sticker sheets and these were just some of my favorites but I'm definitely gonna have to be ordering some more. They're so cute and I was just so excited to get them. Um, I love the colors that she used and even though they are like very very detailed, they're not overly detailed. I think the mushroom stickers, these ones are my favorite and you'll kind of see like a running theme of mushroom stationery in this haul <laughs> um, just because I've just grown to love them so much which I can thank the book Entangled Life for <laughs> so good if you guys haven't read it then you definitely should <laughs> Um, and then I got some basics as well like numbers and titles when I just don't feel like writing like titles in my journal oh and here's one of the little freebies that came in my order as well Moving on to Maragona Suli Art on Instagram. I just love her art style. It's very cartoony, but also so dainty at the same time. And I just love how everything just flows so nicely. Um, I got a couple of stickers, sheets, and then some die cut stickers as well. I just love the Kiki Delivery Service one. I remember watching this movie so many times as a child. So it's really nice to see her take on it. And then there's some like window frames and anything with like windows and books together is just right on my street. So I'm so excited to use these. Uh, this sticker sheet is just too good like the colors go so nicely together and they have such a cozy vibe to them probably one of my favorites actually Then I got some stuff from Artie from Lila Journals on Instagram. All her stuff has like a really delicate vintage look to them. That's how I'd explain it anyway. 
and the detail is just on another level completely <laughs> i got some sticker sheets and some die cut stickers here are some really cute freebies and the paper dolly is just so cute like it kind of reminds me of my grand's house <laughs> and i think the doilies would remind a lot of people of their grand's house <laughs> And again, my favourites are probably the mushroom themed ones, especially this pet tape. Every mushroom is different and you guys will see it coming up in just a sec. Oh, and this little mushroom night sky sticker. It's like a little mushroom house. It's so cute and I know exactly what I'm going to use that for. It's probably going to be in an upcoming video, so you'll see it. You'll see me using it there. And she has like notebooks and journals as well on her shop. I'm looking forward to trying out some of those in the future. So the pet tape, when I first opened it up, I started unrolling it, kind of expecting to see a few designs here and there. And then I just kept going and going and going and how stunned at how intricate the tape was. So I unraveled the whole thing again so I could show you guys how beautiful every design on here is. And like I said, they're all different and I wanted you guys to see, so I sped it up for you. Last but not least at all in any way, I got a few things from Paper Monogatari Journal Away here on YouTube. She does like journal videos and stuff. I have to say the packaging just blew me away. Like I love the fact that it was literally like opening a gift from a friend. So I mostly got sticker sheets and then a few die cut stickers. Here are like the little freebies and stuff. And then I got a lot of practical stickers for journaling. And this black sticker sheet with gold foiling is so beautiful. And again, I got some mushroom bean stickers too. <laughs> So here is me laying everything out all together. Oh, there's also another sticker sheet that I missed from the Lena Journal store. I don't know how I missed that, but here's me looking at it thinking, wait, where? I, like, I definitely forgot to film this one. <laughs> um, I think my favorite thing about small stationery businesses is that when you receive it, it just feels so personalized and it's rather more of an experience than just something you ordered, you know? <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Absolutely all the links to their shops will be in the description. And to the best of my knowledge, all this stuff is still available in their shops. I know Piper's Art is closed at the moment, but she'll be reopening. And then I'm pretty sure the stuff will still be there. And then some other shops are taking breaks, but you can still make orders as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, be sure to let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content and I'll be back soon for a bunch more videos and I shall see you guys in my next one.